Right, guys, welcome back to Ross Strawman. Today it's, it's me again, because look, I just won you at Strongest Man. Give me a high, yeah, two time, baby. <laughs> I was like a zombie for the whole weekend, but it was worth it seeing him win it. So he's buzzed, but Luke's not started back training now properly till Thursday, so you got me again. Yeah, Europe's was a very good event. It's weird being the kind of bad uh, the chalk boy and making sure Luke's all good. Usually it's uh, the wives that do that, but I'm just in there to like, you know, chalk up the straps and make sure his warm ups are good, helping with the suit and stuff on as well, because it's not really about telling him oh, how to lift this or do that, he's done all the work in the gym. You kind of just have to reinsure him, look, do it for the family, do it for Koa, do it for, you know, the things that motivate him. And I know the things that motivate him and he knows the things that motivate me. So you say these words to each other and then that's it. Oh, you don't have to say like, all right, warm up to 250 now, warm up to 280 because that's not my responsibility. That's not my job to do. He talk, talks to Shane, they'll, they'll, they'll know what exactly to do. I just need to make sure he's got his belt, his chalks, his head's in the game and that's it. You know, it is pretty nerve wracking being on that side, but. Uh, yeah, we both uh, managed it very well, and when we're together, it kind of intimidates a lot of people as well. So he was very consistent throughout each event. The stones at the end were pretty epic as well. And uh, Luke and Ivers, you know, coming down to the last stone, Ivers was actually ahead of Luke on the lap, and then Luke just kind of, I think, was more efficient of getting that last bit. And they both just rolled it. And it's one of those things that, like, it was a dead heat, and it was a very fair, I think, for the judges to give it as a dead heat. It means that they basically both got the same amount of points on it and at that point Luke was still in third place but he had did what he could and then unfortunately Alexi with his bad injury very intense well it was like it was kind of like Arnold's where I didn't know if I'd made the podium they were, we were just standing there for ages but then by the time Novikov had finished I kind of knew in the back of my mind that he's won it so yeah bittersweet moment and it was very good for Luke to win that and get confidence into Worlds so today is really just a case of doing sandbag the steeplechase sandbags thing then a yoke and then it's meant to just be out the stones. My dad's been a crazy, crazy mofo on a driving to Ukraine. So uh, I am going to go see him later today before he goes off. You know, Jim's important, but I want to see my dad before he goes off because that's more important for me. I mean, he's going to be away for like 10, 11 days. So today we'll just literally just be three events, but we start with sandbox. I'm putting this sandbag over there, run back, this sandbag, run back, this sandbag. And then I, once the third one goes over, I put the, drop them, sprint back to pick this one up that's here and just hold it and let's see just suffer and put it over the yoke, then re-pick it up and then finish with that. Okay, we, uh, I made it a bit harder for myself thinking that uh, I'd do the three and then do one long round, which I thought was the Tom will show you a 150kg standby, but um, it was actually 180, so that's quite 
Quite good. I was wondering, I was like, holy c um, You know, I did three in about 44, 45 seconds. Um, and then the last one was just just to do the length of it, but I didn't realize it was that heavy. So. I remember we filled up a sandbag for throwing a show at Arnold's a few years back, but I didn't realize it was this one. And yeah, well, it is this one. So, like I said, I just wanted that extra wee bit of cardio just to kind of feel the lower back working, the glutes working, how to carry it when it gets tired, and there we go. So, usually I do it like after one or two events, I'm nice and warm up. So, going straight into sandbags, I find them. You know, harder to come straight in. You know, in competition it's fine, but just when you're training, like, harder to warm up, especially when you don't really have light sandbags to warm up with. <laughs> it's like one, two, five, one, thirty kg sandbags, and um, so but it's just about getting it done. So, yeah, happy enough with that. Yeah, next event will be um, York, I think. Get that sorted. Yeah, holy. Sh Getting it done, fatigued yoke was all right. I think that's about 400-ish K, 402, I don't know. But um, yeah, it was just, I'm doing yoke twice a week now. So when Luke's here, I'll do a bit heavier with him. I'm gonna be doing probably a bit more frame on Friday as well. And then next week I'll be doing a, uh, probably another yoke session, frame session and boom, body needs a rest, but it's good, good every session I'm coming in, you know, I'm getting it done and that's the main thing. However, yesterday I pushed um, my deadlifts to the biggest reps I've done. So it's kind of taking a toll a wee bit today, but it's a, uh, Gonna be good. Yesterday's session in Dallas was just all mindset traveling. I know I'm not competing, but still traveling and then not getting home till like Sunday 6 a.m. and you just want to sleep. That's what I felt like yesterday going into the gym, but I was able to get it done. So I'm just trying to catch up. But tomorrow, Wednesday, is a recovery day. So I'm just gonna sleep. All good, but um, let's get these stones done. But, uh, oh. Tom, do you want to do stones for me? He still hasn't been in the cold water yet. Oh, it's up. That is training done. A nice fatigue session there. <laughs> yeah, getting it done is the main thing. My body feels 
buggered, but my mindset's still 100%, which is good. So yeah, stones was more than I thought. Two and ten for ten reps is, you know, is big considering like it's so hard training your events by yourself. A lot of people know that. So um, I have the, that's why I have big Tom, the cameraman, how to help, help me because I've been mostly myself and they're brutal to try and get motivated. But that's where you make champions anyway. This will be the last time you see me probably before Will Shaw's man. We got the new series of coming out of how we're recovering our fitness, guys. Let's go to Will Shaw's man. Let's get number three, let's go hunting and let's go put on a storm because I'm feeling unreal. Body feels healthy, mind feels healthy, but right now I need sleep. <laughs> Goodbye guys, stay safe, smile and stay spicy. And remember, congratulate Luke in the comments below. Massive, massive win. Britain's European champions batting the Stoke household. You know what destiny's coming. One more left, let's go.